right in the middle of my launch, my forms broke and I was absolutely horrified. Hey everyone, welcome to The Course Consultant Show, episode 45. In today's episode, I'm gonna share with you my experience using ConvertBox and Thrivecart for live launches. So back in May, of 2021, I actually ran a summit for the first time called the Inspired Course Summit. I had amazing speakers and I was really honored to be able to bring them onto my virtual stage. What was really scary about this was that I had been working literally weeks and almost about a month prepping all the material, including emails, um, images, and it just so happened that there was some sort of plugin issue with my site and my forms stopped working. <gasps> This made it super embarrassing because actually people were sending other people to my website to opt in so that they can get access to this free training. And yes, I was able to get my forms fixed by creating a temporary opt-in form, but it just gave me so much anxiety. And honestly, I wished that I had a form builder that wasn't going to break before I had launched. Well, if you have an email list and you're trying to build up your audience, I always recommend having a great form builder that's going to easily integrate into your website, no matter what kind of website you have. And so this led me down a long train of research where I was looking into really expensive software like ClickFunnels, lead pages, and so much more. And I ended up deciding to go with ConvertBox and I am really, really happy that I did. Not only is it a one-time lifetime price, but it's also able to be integrated into different sites as well, depending on your plan that you purchase. It also can integrate with your branding. So if you want specific colors to be used, you wanna add your image in there. I really like that it's really beautiful to customize. And I also really like some of the features which I'm gonna share with you today. I am actually gonna share with you five ways that you can amplify your course launch with ConvertBox and Thrivecart. And the first thing that I wanna share with you is something I use for my summit and also for about three launches that I've actually did over the last year. So the first one that I recommend trying out is to use a sticky banner. Now, what do I mean when I say sticky banner? So sticky banner is basically a pop-up banner that actually shows up on your landing page. And this pop-up banner is basically going to say the offer name. If there's a limited time offer, you can actually integrate a countdown timer and it redirects to another landing page. So if you have a landing page that says expired, uh, sorry, that discount is no longer available. If you have something like that, then definitely take a look at what is available um, in terms of your ability to purchase ConvertBox because it's really awesome. So number one, again, is that sticky header. You can also integrate directly with Thrivecart. Thrivecart, again, is a cart checkout platform. If you wanna learn more about how to use Thrivecart in your business, how to start an affiliate program, go ahead. If you're watching on YouTube, I'll link to the different videos for Thrivecart. Number two. Number two is what I love about ConvertBox is I can have slide-ins. So slide-ins basically are similar to pop-ups, but basically slide-ins allow you to, one, create an easy opt-in form if you're collecting leads, or two, actually just show a pop-up form when you're launching a new product, a new service, or a new program. So this is perfect for memberships, uh, courses, group programs, power hour consultations, basically anything that you're trying to sell that people can access digitally online or enroll online in, this is gonna be perfect for you. So slide-ins are really great for the, another reason and that's because you can actually segment your list. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how I've used that for my recent launches and other sorts of offers that I have in my online business. That I have people that are interested in different topics. And for instance, this might be that someone maybe is brand new on a topic and they wanna learn about topic A. Maybe they're interested in something more advanced like topic B. 
Well, either way, I want to give them something that's going to be relevant to them based off of what their needs are. And so to do that, I like using the segmentation option for ConvertBox. This gives me the ability to connect up with my email marketing platform and send them to a right opt-in that's really going to give them the most win. This makes it easy for the customer to join. It gives them the ability to only choose what they want to see and it also decreases the ability for people to get annoyed and turned off and just tune out or worse, unsubscribe. Number three, I really love that I can use scheduled launch dates. I often have flash sales in my business and basically with a flash sale, what I'm doing is I'm giving a special discount or a prices are going up incentive for people to purchase some of my products or services. Back in December, I ran a flash sale on a few of my products and I actually made um, a good chunk of change, about $5,000, not just from my flash sales, but from other sorts of products that I was promoting at the time. And what I noticed was, when I ran my flash sales, some people didn't know that my flash sales were happening. What was happening is I was emailing people and they were visiting my website, but they had to visit a specific sales page to be notified that I was even running a sale. And so there was a couple workarounds that I went about to get more people aware that I was running a sale, but I found that that wasn't really a long-term solution and I didn't really want to um, invest in deadline funnel, which is basically a way for you to create custom countdown timers based off of a specific fixed date launch or potentially a evergreen launch. I really at the time did not want to use deadline funnel. And although right now I am using deadline funnel at the time, I just wanted something that was going to give me the ability to let people know on my homepage that I was running a sale. This is really easy to customize and I like that I can schedule when my pop-ups will appear. So if you are someone who is pretty familiar with creating and selling online courses, you'll know that you normally have a period of time called an open cart period. And during that time, you're going to start sending promotional emails, social media messages to your audience. And if you have the capacity to do so, you're probably going to run some sort of Facebook advertisement if you have the ability to do that. Um, so if that's the case, then I recommend having a way to notify your audience that are already in your world and are considered warm about your sale by adding pop-ups and slide-in banners on your homepage and throughout your website. With ConvertBox, it's really easy to target specific blog posts. You can also integrate them on specific landing pages like your homepage or maybe even another sort of page like your services page, about page, or any other area on your website so that you can notify people that your launch is happening and when it will close. All right, number four thing that I really love about ConvertBox is that you can also create tripwire offers and funnels. So with forms, forms are one of the best ways for you to monetize your audience. And I like to use a landing page specific for one free offer. Now I have a lot of ways for other people to subscribe to my list, including my everything page and also opt-ins inside of my blog post, but I really like to have just one landing page dedicated to my free training. This makes it easier to run funnels for Facebook advertisements. If I decide to do other funnels in the future, I can also use those as a way to monetize. So if you're looking to actually grow your audience with a one page landing page for your freebie, I recommend using ConvertBox because it's going to one, give you some specific statistics about how many views you're getting compared to the conversion rates. And you can also kind of take a look at the statistics of what's happening between your landing pages for different funnels. You can do specific funnels for Facebook advertisements, Google advertisements, or Pinterest ads. If you're running any sort of other advertisements, you can also track the traffic that's going to those um, specific pages based off of who's reviewing your pop-ups. You can also take a look at your conversion rates based off of the type of opt-in. So for instance, me, I have pop-ups, I have banners, and I also have inline embeds. And I often will look at the same opt-in form and I will look to see which one is performing better. So when it comes to your funnels, the great thing about this is 
If you were to do a tripwire and you wanted to get people onto your email list, you can send a follow-up email sequence based off of what they opted into and redirect that landing page from the free offer to a limited time discount. What's cool about this is that tripwires give people the ability to purchase a one-time discount or just basically a lower price offer that they can grab right off the bat if they're interested in your overall product. So I'd say that ConvertBox is really great when it comes to integrating with Thrivecart. And so if you're trying to maybe launch something new like a podcast for a private feed, maybe you're trying to launch a free training like a webinar or a masterclass, or maybe you want to actually add more tripwire offers or some sort of low price product for people to opt in, I definitely recommend ConvertBox so that you can actually see more statistics up front, review which landing pages and forms are converting well, review other statistics such as your conversion rates, and also really just look at what kinds of offers you should continue to advertise and promote. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of how to amplify your course launch with ConvertBox and Thrivecart. If you are interested in learning more about ConvertBox, I've got a special bonus for you. I'm gonna be able to share with you special trainings and support inside of Course Impact Mastermind. So if you are wanting to learn more about purchasing ConvertBox and or purchasing Thrivecart, I'm offering a special incentive. If you purchase through that link, you get a free month's worth of group mastermind access. That's right, you get a whole free month of group mastermind access, normally charged at $334, and sometimes maybe even a little bit more. So if you're looking to take your course launch to the next level, you need more feedback and you want more trainings to help you set up your funnels for your online course business, I recommend checking out if ConvertBox is for you. Learn more through the link in the description or the link on my show notes episode to see if this is a good fit. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment or send me an email. I'll do my best to follow up with you to let you know whether or not I think ConvertBox or Thrivecart are going to be good for you and your business. That's it for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day.